My Fair Lady won eight Oscars and I 100% completely see why. It won eight, it was nominated for an additional four, it won three Golden Globes, uh, one BAFTA. It is a phenomenal film and I can't believe that despite the fact I knew the soundtrack very well from having various, you know, Amdram classes and, and owning a lot of musical compilations, I had never seen it until today. And I've fairly recently, over the last year or so, fallen in love with Audrey Hepburn. I'm glad I waited to see it until now. It is incredible. I'm not going to spoil anything for the most part. I will, towards the end, mention a few spoiler things because I want to talk about the ending and a few mixed thoughts I have about that. But I will give fair warning when I'm approaching that point. The film was released in 1964, directed by George Cooker, written by, well, based on the play by George Bernard Shaw, and has a fantastic cast, primarily Audrey Hepburn, of course, as Eliza Doolittle, and Rex Harrison as Henry Higgins, who, both of whom are just absolutely fantastic. Their on-screen chemistry is great. Henry Higgins, as a character, winds me up in the most wonderful ways and I have a lot to say about Eliza Doolittle as well again I'll be as non-spoiler as possible if you are not aware of the story of My Fair Lady or Pygmalion it's basically about a, a commoner who sells flowers called Eliza Doolittle and phonetics teacher Henry Higgins decides to take her on as a project to turn her from this commoner who's got a very thick kind of East London accent, I believe it's East London, and takes her on as his protégé and turns her, or attempts to turn her into a lady. So to begin with, Audrey Hepburn is speaking with the most common accent you can imagine, which is incredible. Uh, Common British, I should point out. And it's amazing because this is the first time I've ever seen her speaking this way. And... You know, usually she's very well spoken, very softly spoken. Eliza Doolittle is the antithesis of all of that. So it's pretty amazing to hear her with this kind of broad, almost butch cockney accent. It's incredible. As the transition goes on, I find her performance more and more amazing. I do think that she is more endearing as as kind of the butch cockney, who's not very ladylike at all because I find that her performance just allows her to be more outrageous. Her facial expressions are incredible. She plays the character exceptionally well. I should say I have read the play. I read the play many years ago. I've seen Pygmalion, the film, and her performance is just a cut above everything else. She really is amazing. The same with Rex Harrison as Henry Higgins, who I love to hate. He is not a likeable character, but I think he goes on a good character progression. And he's certainly one that's quite interesting to analyse. Obviously what makes this different to, for example, the adap- the adaptations of Pygmalion, uh, which are definitely worth checking out, is that this is a musical. And the soundtrack is pretty great. There are certain songs that I love, but there is one thing that needs to be addressed first of all. Audrey Hepburn does not sing in this film. The voice is actually Marnie Nixon. And I always have a slight problem when... When somebody takes on a starring role but they don't end up doing the singing in a musical because it doesn't make sense. But at the same time, the vocals are absolutely phenomenal and Audrey Hepburn's performance is unrivaled as Eliza Doolittle. So although... I may find it a little bit peculiar. Marnie Nixon's voice is absolutely fantastic. Audrey Hepburn's you know, mannerisms and the way she performs the songs are exactly what one would expect. Nixon dubbed over that and the intonations and everything just marry up really well. So I, if you didn't know that the vocals had been dubbed, you wouldn't know at all. And I think that's pretty impressive for the film. The songs that I love in this are... Well, there are many of them, and it's hard to know where to begin. One of my favourites, absolutely one of my favourites, 
is wouldn't it be lovely it's always been one of my favorites and i truly truly love it i also love just you wait and i could have danced all night the ascot song is one that i'd only heard once before i believe and as soon as i heard it again it, the memory just popped back into my head that one is another great song the film progresses really well we have a great mix of cast and characters you know i like pretty much everybody in this i don't think anybody was miscast at all Colonel Hugh Pickering, played by Wilfred Hyde White. I love Mrs. Higgins, Gladys Cooper. Absolutely brilliant. The set designs are gorgeous. The costumes are ridiculously amazing, particularly Audrey Hepburn's. Even when she's, you know, in the beginning of the film and she's supposed to be just a, a little poor flower girl, her outfits are so beautiful and they're so gorgeous to look at. But ultimately it's her performance and indeed her facial expressions that make this the Oscar worthy film. It did win Best Picture. It won Best Actor for X Harrison, Best Director, Best Cinematography, Best Art Direction, Best Costume, Best Sound and Best Music. Why Hepburn was not even nominated for Best Actress, I have no idea. But Rex Harrison did apparently nominate his Best Actor win to Audrey Hepburn and also uh, Julie Andrews who played it initially on stage and I believe she was supposed to be cast in the film and there was a reason why she wasn't and I can't remember why which is exceptionally annoying because I'm pretty sure it was an interesting story. But either way, Utterly fantastic. Definitely one of my favourite performances from Audrey Hepburn. Her face, her expressions are just incredible. So the ending. There will be spoilers. Well, a small spoiler. I'm going to say how it ends. But there will be one spoiler from now. And I won't see anything else that isn't um, relevant to this. The ending. Different as it is to Pygmalion. Is questionable. There are, you know, I had a look on Google after watching this to see what other people were saying. And, you know, there was a lot of talk about how Henry Higgins was going to adopt Eliza Doolittle, which could be interesting, although I actually rather like her father. I play by Stan Stanley Holloway. I rather like him. I think he's a really interesting character. And I would have liked to have seen more of him. Obviously, the other thread is that Henry Higgins and Eliza Doolittle become lovers. And I don't really like the idea of either of those. I just want them to be friends. So I don't really know what I, uh, what I think of that ending. I didn't think the ending was... I didn't think the final song in the last few minutes before the ending were great. The actual final scene, the final frame, the final few seconds really... I thought they were really good uh, and really kind of beautiful. But again, is it what Eliza should have done? Uh, should she have actually gone away? But then she'd be turning her back on what we can see is clearly actually a really great friendship. They have their differences, but they get on well. Well, they, they get on well under the surface. But should she have gone elsewhere, married got on with her own life. This is the kind of film where I'd love there to be a sequel. I think that would be absolutely amazing because I'm genuinely interested in knowing what happens with Eliza Doolittle next. If you have any thoughts or theories on that, I would love to know them. If you haven't seen the film, it's absolutely worth watching. It is one of the most beautiful films that I've ever seen. Certainly one of the most Entertaining musicals with a beautiful soundtrack, gorgeous costumes, brilliant casting, fantastic performances. Really, I can barely fault it. 7.8 out of 10 on IMDb. A meta score of 95, which is incredible. That is absolutely insane. Eight Oscars. Definitely worth all of them. My Fair Lady is incredible. <laughs>